This is episode 4 of Paddle Showdown, a series on this channel where we compare two paddles at different price points to see if the higher price of the expensive paddle leads to better performance or if the cheaper paddle is a better overall value. Now this is the first time on this series where a company has specifically requested a challenge. Picklin, a newer company, reached out to me on doing a comparison of their Helios paddle against the paddle almost everyone is familiar with, Ben Johns' current paddle, the Yola Perseus CFS 16mm, which retails for $249. The reason Picklin has asked for this showdown is because they actually use the same factory as the big name companies like Selkirk and Yola, and the mold and construction of their Helios paddle is actually the same as the Perseus 16mm, but the Helios retails for $105. Looking at the paddle stats, both are indeed similar. They're both unibody Gen 2 thermoform paddles with etch in the perimeter and carbon fiber surfaces. Now the Helios does say it uses Japanese T700 carbon fiber, while similarly to the Hyperion, the Perseus doesn't mention what grade of carbon fiber it uses. The dimensions for the two are also identical. Both are elongated with 16.5 inches in length, 7.5 inches in width, 16 millimeter core thicknesses, and a 5.5 inch handle. Now let's take a look if both paddles do in fact play similarly, since everything about them appears to be almost the same on the surface. Let's start by looking at maneuverability, or how quick it is to swing the paddle. As elongated paddles with edge foam in the perimeter, they are on the slower end for maneuverability compared to the other shapes. The Perseus actually swings a bit quicker than most elongated Gen 2 paddles, with a swing weight around 116. The Helios I received was on the slightly slower end at around 119, which is in the medium swing weight category for the elongated paddles, so for the maneuverability, this goes to the Perseus. Next, let's look at the power, or how much force one can generate on the ball with the paddle using a full swing. As elongated thermos, both paddles are on the higher end for power generation, but the slightly higher swing weight of the Helios gives it just a bit more power over the Perseus, so the power goes to the Helios. As for the pop and face stiffness, both paddles felt identical. This measures how long the ball dwells on the paddle surface on contact when little to no force is applied during a shot. So how quick shots like blocks and punch volleys shoot off at the kitchen line. Both the Perseus and Helios are on the stiffer end of paddles since they both are thermoformed, so they both have good pop at the net, but as mentioned earlier, the feel of the paddles felt the same side by side, so neither of the paddles comes out ahead here. Similarly, for the spin generation, both paddles were also identical. Both do have carbon fiber surfaces, and while Yola doesn't specify the grade of carbon fiber used, I didn't really notice a difference in the RPMs each paddle could generate on the ball. They both generate high amounts of spin, like all the other Gen 2 paddles, and I'll rank the spin as the same for both. Now the sweet spot and stability is the biggest difference I found between the two. The sweet spot on the Perseus felt small to me, where there were times I thought the paddle didn't have edge foam in it. Since the Perseus does have a lower swing weight, my theory is that there's less weight distributed in the paddle face, potentially because of less edge foam in the perimeter, which causes the sweet spot and also the twist weight to be one of the lowest for an elongated Gen 2 paddle. Meanwhile, the Helios felt noticeably better in both areas, and it felt more in line with other Gen 2 elongated paddles on the market, so for this category, it's going to the Helios. Overall, even though the Helios is meant to be a cheaper clone of the Perseus, I actually found it to be a better paddle, and enjoyed it more mainly because of the better sweet spot and stability. The fact that it also costs less than half the price of the Perseus makes the Helios a very easy recommendation for anyone looking for a cheaper alternative to the Perseus. The only reason I would recommend the Perseus is if you want a paddle from a bigger name brand, or if you want that lighter elongated paddle with the intention of adding your own lead tape in certain areas for customization. One more thing about Picklin is how they actually donate 50% of their proceeds to local charities, so by supporting Picklin, you are also helping to support a good cause. If you do want to check out either paddle, I've linked discount codes to both in the video description below that will get you a discount off your order at checkout from their respective websites.